Virtual assistant, how to grow your business by outsourcing and hiring virtual assistants. What is up, underdog fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about everything to do with scaling your business to six and seven figures and completely leveling the playing field for us underdog entrepreneurs. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel yet, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything and we are getting started right now. My name is Zachary Babcock. And when you're a little guy trying to grow, the odds are you don't have a process. So I've learned the hard way that process is neither good nor bad. It's which processes do you use when. And with us, you know that we work with young adults. We have a lot of young adults in our program. They don't have any training coming in. And so we have been in the training business so that we can scale our business, selling courses, running ads helping these folks make more money. And we see that whether you're hiring people on Fiverr, which is a good start, because it's like practice, right? If, if you don't know how to drive stick, you probably want to try a rental car or someone else's car. You know, before you're a brand new car, you know, you kind of want to practice, right? <laughs> and if you're a brand new manager, because you're doing the best you can by yourself, but you know you need more time and money, right? Which is the, the catch-22. You have to have a way to take an intermediate step before you can hire full-time staff in the U.S., so we, we see like hiring folks on Fiverr for $5 gigs, fancy hands, you've seen what we do there. So that's a subscription, 50 bucks a month, 150 bucks a month, and they give you a bucket of tasks. Then you hire a virtual assistant. So someone from the Philippines at $500 a month full time. You know, you know what the average is for a VA, a virtual assistant in the US, someone who's full time, or not in the US, in the Philippines, someone who's full time, has a college degree, and is doing your video editing, is answering your phone, is managing your schedule, is doing your Facebook ads, is doing your cre creative, is doing all these things. Do you know what the average salary is full time for a month? Uh, uh, I'm gonna say 500 just because you said that number. <laughs> 350. 350 for Someone 40 hours a week. Who goes to an office 40 hours a week, who is educated, perhaps more educated than you or I, dedicated, loyal, not like in the U.S. where you hire these people and they just flake out on you, right? right. Where they want more money or that kind of thing. You have loyal, happy, amazing folks that will start at $350 a month full time. Now, if you knew that was the case, how would that affect your ability to delegate? How would you behave differently? Yeah, I mean, like th that's a game changer right there for one because it's such a low price point. And for two, you know, you're going to free up so much of your time to be able to do the more important task. So I wrote a note. I want to say it was a few weeks ago. I posted on my profile on Facebook. And you see when I post up, sometimes things take off. <laughs> and it's not the blue check mark. A lot of people think it's that. And I got some haters. I got the guy who ran customer care from Walmart, who's kind of a friend of mine. And he said, you guys are exploiting third, uh, third world labor, right, by paying them so little. Because I was saying, and I showed a picture in some videos of Logan and me hanging out in the Philippines. We were taking care of our VAs. We were taking them out to eat. We went to the spa to hang out. We went to some events. We, we did a whole bunch of cool, we went hiking together, right? And they're real people. They're not just people you interact over the internet. They're real human people with families. And it's a different standard of living over there. A dollar goes a lot further. You can live like a king for a thousand dollars a month over there, right? You can just imagine everything's cheaper over there, right? It's just, it's amazing versus the U.S. And this guy said, you know, if, if your video editors in the U.S. are worth $40 to $50 an hour, then why are you paying these guys three bucks an hour or four bucks an hour? You're totally taking advantage of them. And I said, no, we're not because A, they're happy about it. B, we treat them well. C, we train them up. D, they're advancing through our system. They might start at two or three dollars an hour. And we see a lot of folks, they started there and now they're up at 10 bucks an hour, which like in the US, that's like making 150,000 bucks a year, right? You feel pretty good about that, right? If you, if you started working at some min wage job or, or whatever, you're making like 10 bucks an hour and now you're making 150,000 bucks a year, that's pretty good, right? So, if you know that's the case, what would you do about it? If you if you saw that there were 500,000 of these folks who are basically trained in digital marketing, and you can have them edit your blog posts, edit your video, manage your Facebook ads, 
handle operations, including being on the phone, all these kinds of things. But no one VA, no one virtual assistant can do all those things. But you have a team of them. What kinds of things would you have them do? So there you have it. Like, just imagine, like, what could you do with if you had virtual assistants in place? There's a big difference between being a business owner and a business operator. A business owner works on the business and he has teams in place to carry out all the mundane, repeatable tasks within the business. A business operator is stuck in the business doing everything themselves, the, all the repeatable tasks that he could outsource to other people, and that way he gets to a point where he can't grow the business anymore because he only has so much time in a day, he's only one person, and cannot grow because he's constantly thinking reactively, keeping up with what he already has and already going on versus being able to think proactively a business or where you can think about leadership and growing and expansion. Um, now here are some practical tips on how to build out processes and checklists for your VAs um, once you get them in the in the Philippines, which is a perfect like like Dennis said, they're loyal, it's it's they're living a good life, you're providing them a good life and they're providing you a great service. Um, you want to build out processes and checklists like say for instance if you record we're going to use youtube as an example here you record youtube videos so you record the videos boom then you send them off for it to get edited by them so you can use something like dropbox uh, business where you upload the files and boom then they have access and they can edit them but it doesn't start, stop there you got to build out the process checklist if you want them edited a certain way make a checklist like uh, a checklist, a one to ten checklist, or one to however many steps it takes, and write out each step, what happens, and each step, what they need to do, where they need to go to get this file. Boom, how, boom. And then you have that checklist for them to follow, and you can record a tutorial screen video of you editing a video, talking and walking them through it. Like, hey, I kind of want it done like with this style. You know, you can use your discretion here, but this is what we're aiming for. Blah 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 blah. blah. Boom. You have that. Upload that to YouTube as an unlisted video. Grab that link, then you can plug it right into Dropbox and they can watch that video and follow that checklist and then they can get your video edited sent back to you and scheduled or they would schedule it you don't you don't want to be scheduling it yourself they would schedule it you want it anything that's repeatable in your business that that you don't have to do you want to outsource you only want to do what only you can do in your business for example my VA couldn't come on this camera and talk to you because it's not me only I could do that so any other you know video editing, graphic design work, podcast editing, um, maybe the deliver the deliverables of your products and service. Um, dude, there are so many things that you can literally get down and outsource and save yourself so much time. If you want a complete blueprint on how to rapidly scale your business to six and seven figures as an underdog entrepreneur, check it out in the description below. It's called the Growth Engine Blueprint. This blueprint is going to show you how to attract your ideal high paying customers, how to craft compelling offers that they want and are willing to pull out their credit cards and buy, how to publish engaging content to get them into your funnel, and how to lead them through the customer journey is what is commonly known as, but I call it the relationship path, where they it builds interest from one offer to the next and you send them through your business model. Check that out. I got full video tutorials along with downloadable worksheets that you could fill in yourself to get these client profiles, all this stuff, right? Fire. Check it out. It's in the description below. Uh, if you want to watch more videos that are going to help you dominate as an underdog entrepreneur and rapidly scale to six and seven figures, be sure to check out this playlist right there. And if you want to check out the video or the video, the full interview that I had with Dennis Yu, which is his his company uh, that is the CTO for manages uh, ad campaigns for the Golden State Warriors, Nike, Rosetta Stone, just to name a few. Um, be sure to check out that in the description below. It's if you're uh, uh, iPhone user, there's an iTunes link. If you're an uh, uh, Android user, there's a uh, uh, Google Play link uh, for Underdog Empowerment. Or you can check it out on underdogempowerment.com, which that is in the description below as well. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, be sure to subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button, uh, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And I will see you on the next video. And I can't wait to see you winning as an underdog entrepreneur. Talk soon. We put them hours in.